spoke to you guys either. All right, I just spoke to you. I didn't speak to you either. Okay, great. So which year are you guys at? Are you second year, third year, first year? Second year and you're thinking about it or just want to like get some information? Yes. Good, mm -hmm. awesome, very good. You're the right place. So how's everyone else? Did you guys have a chance to eat? You feel good? <laughs> yeah? You all did a great job doing the interview, so I know that some of you were saying, oh, I feel kind of nervous, but you did great. Your English is actually very good. Some of you have like really strong English, but all of you were able to, you were all able to understand me, right? You were all yeah, able to understand me, and we were able to have a conversation. You all were looking really sharp, which is very important for me, for the company, and you know, you were prepared, you did a great job, so you should be very proud of yourselves. And if I speak too fast, just tell me to slow down. Just like do like, hey. yeah, <laughs> yeah. Okay, good, good, good. Excellent. How come? <laughs> Have a seat. Okay. Have a seat. Thank you. Anywhere you want. Okay, perfect. So, just remember that some of you have some questions. Make sure that you remind me. Okay, I want to make sure that you leave with all your questions answered here today. That's why I came all the way from the United States to make sure that you have all the information to make the best decision for yourselves. Yeah? Okay. Excellent. Um, so a little bit about myself because I know I had a chance to talk to some of you and I spoke about myself a lot. <laughs> uh, but my name is Jessica and I'm originally, um, I was actually telling you that I actually was born in Venezuela. But then I came over here to La Coruña when I was very young. <coughs> I think I was like six years old, so I grew up in La Coruña. And then I uh, studied all around Europe. I did a master's degree in Switzerland. And I've been living in the U.S. for the last 10 years, where I've been working with Marriott Hotels. I uh, represent Marriott Hotels, and I manage the J-1 internship uh, program, which is the international exchange program for Marriott in North America. <laughs> So I really love my job. I spent a lot of time on the road. I was telling some of you that I, I spent almost a month in India. I spent three weeks in the Philippines. Um, I actually just came back from, from Switzerland. So very cool. Uh, do you have any questions, by the way? Feel free to interrupt at any time. Yeah? So let's talk a little bit about Marriott. Marriott Hotels. Anyone familiar with the brand? Yeah, a lot of you have actually worked with Marriott, so that's fantastic. You actually work for uh, Ritz Carlton, you work for what else? What other brands? NH, right? And what other, <coughs> you work for other brands, but so pretty much everyone's familiar with the brand, right? In case you're not familiar, I'm going to give you a few facts, which is always good to know. Sorry about that. Work. I go ahead. <laughs> Great. So, Marriott Hotels, um, as you know, is the largest hospitality chain in the world. Did you know that? Yes. Yeah? You do. <laughs> <laughs> and um, we are currently in 79 countries and growing. <coughs> we have 4,100 properties. <coughs> And we, apparently, actually that is wrong. Now, besides the 18 brands, we have some more. And 700,000 rooms, 330,000 stars, associates, etc. Currently, we currently have 500 hotels under development all over the world. And just so you have an idea, let me see if this works. Just so you have an idea, um, this is a little bit of where we are located right now. Um, I updated this, I think, like six months ago, and now it has doubled. Because I don't know if you heard about the Starwood acquisition, and besides all the hotels that we're currently building. So this is where we are. As you can see, there's loads of hotels in Spain. And now we have some more because of the Starwood acquisition. But we are, um, we have a lot of properties right now in Africa. We also acquire another company, which is called Portilla Hotels. Has anyone been in South Africa? No? It's really cool, you have to go. <laughs> so there's Pratia Hotels down there, and of course we're also in China, we're growing in India, we're growing in Singapore. But of course, you probably know that Merit is originally from the US, right? So that's where we have the most hotels, and that's where my corporate office is located. And that's where I live. I actually live in Texas, 
and I'll tell you later what the reason is, but um, as you can see, North America is where we have the most hotels. And these are some of the brands, so just so you're a little, you get a visual <coughs> um, idea of uh, what we have. Do you recognize any of the logos? Yes. Yes. Yeah? Which ones do you recognize? Yes. Great, excellent. Good job, very good. The autograph collection, I, see, I think someone here worked for the autograph collection? Yes, thank you, yes. Um, where was that, by the way? Was it in Barcelona? No, Madrid? Madrid, yes, yes, awesome. Uh, we don't have a lot of the autograph collection hotels, so that's a pretty big deal that you work there. Um, we don't have a lot of the Bulgari. Um, has anyone been in Indonesia? In Indonesia and Bali, we have a uh, Bulgari hotel. I think we only have like five around the world. So if you have a chance, South Africa and Indonesia, remember. <laughs> there we go. And uh, Starwood. Are you guys familiar with the brand? Yes. Now it's part of Marriott as well. Um, there's some talk going on. There's something happening with the Chinese, but I think it'll end up ours. So the deal is almost done. <laughs> <laughs> um, so it started with itself as 1,270 hotels, and it would add another 11 brands to our 1819. So this is pretty good news. And besides all the countries where we're located, we will be located in another 100 um, countries. Great. So why have I been working with Merit for the last almost 10 years? Uh, why do I like the company so much? Why do I travel around the world trying to get people to come with us? Because of this, I really believe in our service profit chain. I really believe in the values and the culture of a company is a little bit different. And like I said, some of you have worked for the company, so you understand uh, what I mean. But for the ones that are not familiar with the company, uh, the service perfect chain is very special. By the way, we don't have employees. We have associates, ladies and gentlemen, we have stars. Uh, we have a very different culture. So for us at Merit Hotels, we believe that our stars, that our associates, um, are very, very important. If our associates are happy, we know that our customers are going to be happy. So eventually, they're going to keep coming back to us. Loyalty is something that we look for, right? Especially in the hospitality industry. There's so many different options. By the way, has anyone been in the United States before? Is yeah, yeah, yeah. So a lot of you have been in the US. How many different options of like hotels and restaurants do you have in the country? Loads, right? So many. So our guests could actually perfectly choose to go to the Hyatt across the street and then the next day to the Hilton. But what do we try to do? We, tr we try to keep having them back, right? And how do we do that? We do that by hiring the right talent, by training the right talent, by making our stars, our associates happy. How do we do that? It's hard to put in words, but we have so many different things for our stars, for our associates. Like, let me give you an example. I think I was telling you, right? Like the, uh, the star, the associate discount. So I was telling her that um, like a few, like two months ago or last month I was in Vegas and I booked a hotel in advance. And because I, I'm a married associate, I was able to get a $20 deal, which is pretty good. So every single person that works for married hotels, you guys know that? Yeah. That you are, okay, great. So if you're able to book in advance, you get really, really good deals. So that's pretty good. Uh, you actually get to travel around the world. Um, then every single of our hotels in North America, uh, we have like uh, employee cafeterias where you can get to eat for free, especially in our Texas market. So you can get to eat for free every day. That's pretty cool, right? You don't need to cook. <laughs> so I don't know how to cook. I don't know you, but I usually use that cafeteria. Uh, what are the things that we have? We have fitness classes. We have language classes. We have um, so many different things. It's, it's hard to... It's hard to tell you. You're going to have to come and see it yourselves. <laughs> Very good. Um, let's see what else we have here. So I actually started with the company in a specific brand, which is called Gaylord Hotels. Some of you got a little something that says Gaylord. Gaylord has a special place in my heart. They are the ones, actually, that travel all the way to Switzerland to meet with me. And they're the ones that got me to go to the United States. So no matter what, they always have a very special place in my heart. Um, they're one of the largest brands 
that Marriott Hotel hotels had. Hi, how are you? Come on in. Hello. Have a seat. Um, and Gaylord Hotels is actually the brand that has stars and not associates. Mm -hmm. We don't have associates, we don't have employees, we have stars. And it's not just a funny name. I like to share this because I think it's kind of cute. <laughs> and it's funny, I really like it. So this, this word stands for something. Like it means smiles, teamwork, attitude, reliability, and service with a passion. No matter what you decide to do in your life, guys, if you don't do your job with all those things, it's going to be hard to be successful. But as long as you do whatever you do with this, you will be successful. So just remember that word. I, I always like think about that. It's, it's really cool. Uh, so now, okay, I know that you had a lot of questions about the program, but before we go into detail about the program, Let's talk about the properties, right? Some of you are coming to the summer work and travel program. Some of you are gonna to come to the one year internship, right? So let me show you the properties where we currently have um, available positions right now, okay? Okay, I know that some, that some of you already did your homework, so do you recognize this property? Yes. Yes. Gaylord Texan. This is where we actually have the most students on a yearly basis. Just this property has 300 students a year. And this is the reason why I have an office here. And if you get selected to, to work here, you're gonna see me often. And this is a beautiful property, um, Gaylord Hotels. Has anyone heard about Gaylord, by the way? Don't worry if you haven't. Don't worry. It's okay, I'll teach you all you need to know. So um, it is a property that um, has 1,511 guest rooms and suites, 400,000 uh, 400, square feet of median space. So the main business for Gaylord Hotels is convention business, right? So we have this huge uh, meeting space convention center, and not only that, but we have all the, the rooms. Um, the priority for this hotel is to always be close to an airport. We get like this huge conventions of all, all types and sorts. And um, the motto is we have everything under one roof. So this property has like eight to 12 restaurants, a spa and shops gym, absolutely everything. So really our guests don't need to go anywhere. They have everything there. It's really like a small world. Um, it's hard to put in words. I don't think we have anything like this. Has anyone been in Vegas? Yeah. Anyone else? So it's like a Vegas type of resort. It's really, really, really big. It's a beautiful place. I, I normally, during my break, I just like to go up to, to the, the, because it's so big that you guys are not gonna walk around the hotel. There's like tunnels. Like, I know some of you worked in Disney, like in a hotel in Disney. Yes. Like big places, that you're gonna always see that there are tunnels underneath the hotel. Because in between the 2,000 stars and the 10,000 guests, it, it would just be chaos if we all worked together. So it's a pretty cool property. That's where I learned everything I know. <laughs> and then of course we have other properties, uh, mostly as you know, located in Texas and Oklahoma. You must be thinking, Okay, why out of all the places do I want to go to Texas and Oklahoma? First of all, of course, because I am there. <laughs> and, uh, and second, let me, let me be realistic and let me tell you the facts. I've been living in the U.S. for the last 10 years. I've lived in New York. I've lived in Miami. I know the country pretty well. I think I've visited almost all states. And the place where I chose to stay is Texas. Let me tell you what. So you know the country is pretty large, right? The United States is a pretty big place. There are a lot of differences in between states when it comes to cost of living, uh, which includes like housing and, and food and, and loads of things, right? And of course, then you also have the salary. And I've know, I know that you probably heard about the economic crisis that we've had, that we've been going through, but now everything seems to be a little better. However, in Texas and Oklahoma, we've never had a, a crisis. So our hotel is <coughs> growing, we always had uh, business, but there's a few things that keep us from working with states like California, New York, why? Because they're so expensive. It's really, really expensive to find housing, to find um, loads of things. On the other hand, in Texas and Oklahoma, the salaries are pretty good, and then like you can afford to pay for housing, you can have a pretty comfortable quality of life over there. And for me, that's very, very important for, for my students to have. 
So that's one of the reasons why we focus mostly in Texas, Texas and Oklahoma. So this is another property that we have in downtown, actually uptown Dallas. It's a little smaller. It's our Ritz-Carlton property with 218 guest rooms and suites. And the meeting space is just a little smaller than New York. <laughs> and then another property in Dallas, we have our Renaissance Hotel. Are you guys familiar with the Renaissance brand? Yes. Very good. 514 guest rooms and suites. Then we have another property. This is one of the oldest properties. Do you guys know anything about Dallas? Dallas, Texas? It's in Texas. Um, anything about history that happened there important? In the world of... Um, Walker. What? Yeah? Walker. Walker. Actually, their brand. Yeah. It's funny, yeah, where they're from, but it's just right next to my house. <laughs> no, but actually... Um, <coughs> Uh, almost like, I think, uh, what, 50 years ago, 51 years ago, just right next to the hotel, um, the president at the time, Kennedy, was assassinated there. I know it's kind of morbid, but it's a very historical location. The hotel is just right there, and there's a lot of history. This is just right downtown. 416 guest rooms and suites, beautiful property, one of the oldest ones. And then this is another property that we have, which is uh, located uptown Dallas and North Dallas. Another property between Dallas, Texas. By the way, guys, did you know that uh, Dallas is the fifth largest city in the country? Mm -hmm. Very good. You've done your homework. <laughs> so, yes, it is the fifth largest city in the country. There are a few differences in the, from the United States, uh, sorry, in the United States from Spain that you're going to notice, especially if you've never lived in the U.S. Um, the only cities that really have good public transportation are Chicago and New York. Everything else, we don't really have a very good um, system for public transportation. However, I'll tell you later, the housing is always going to be within walking distance from where you're going to work. And then, of course, there are a few ways to get around, and I'm always going to give you the information beforehand. Example, Dallas. Dallas has a airport, which is what I think is the second largest in the country, if not the first largest. I actually think it's the largest in the country because it's as big as the island of Manhattan. Do you know that? Yeah, everything's bigger in Texas. <laughs> <laughs> and um, so the, the th what our students do, do you guys know Uber? Uber, great. We use it, I use it a lot. And then also there's a train system that goes from the airport to everywhere in Dallas. So Gaylord, Texas, this property, a lot of our properties are very close to the airport. So you just need to manage to get to the airport and you can go everywhere in Dallas. Um, and there's so much you can do in Dallas. Like the other day we had Taylor Swift. Um, there's always like the best concerts going on, like Lady Gaga. Um, lots of things going on that you can do. I don't know if you're into sports, uh, basketball. Uh, we have the Cowboys. Do you guys know anything about American football? Okay, good. We don't have a lot of soccer about um, Spanish football, unfortunately. However, Real Madrid won the, oh, but it was just like a, a game, like for show type of thing. It was just like, oh, we're playing, but it didn't mean anything.